question 14 a mixture of hydrogen gas and iodine gas placed in the reaction vessel with volume V at temperature T after the reaction it will form hydrogen iodide and this reaction mixture is allowed to come to equilibrium after that argon gas pump into the reaction vessel the temperature is still the same so let's say T the question now is how are the rate of the forward reaction and partial pressure of HI at equilibrium being affected so first the argon gas is in the gas so it will not react with any one of these reactants and products no reactions between them so imagine this is the reaction vessel let's say once this reaction mixture reach equilibrium the argon gas pump in so the argon gas as an inert gas it will not react with these reactants and products which means it will not really affect the, the amount of the H2, I2 and HI which means the concentration of the reactants and products will be the same so means the rate of the forward reaction will be unaffected so this is the reason why the rate of forward reaction unaffected you need to understand the rate of reaction is uh, is a uh, caused by it or affect by a few factors temperature and surface area and concentration and others so since the concentration and the temperature is the same so therefore the rate of the forward reaction will be unaffected so just remember this one the rate of the forward reaction unaffected because the concentration of the reactants no change that's the reason why so second what is the effect on this partial pressure of HI HI is a product so the answer is unaffected so why is unaffected so let's use this diagram okay, for the explanation so this diagram I took it from the textbook so imagine imagine the gas A let's say the gas A is the uh, hydrogen gas iodines and HI at equilibrium so let's say these are all the reaction mixture now this particle the gas B let's say is the argon gas so the argon gas now pump into the this uh, reaction mixture so the argon gas it will not react with the reaction mixture therefore it will be something like this so initially all the gas like the H2I2 and HI they will contribute certain pressure means they will have their partial pressure so in this diagram the partial pressure let's say is 8 Pascal after the argon pump in to this reaction mixture of course at the end the total pressure in the reaction vessel increases so let's say the partial pressure or the pressure that exerted by argon is 3 Pascal so therefore the total pressure now is 11 Pascal so this is the effects of the argon but you have to understand the partial pressure of the reaction mixture is still this 
is still, let's say, 8 Pascal. So means the partial pressure of Hi at equilibrium after the argon introduced is still the same. So it's unaffected. That's the reason why. And some of you might try to relate with the Dalton law that uh, I discussed in the previous question, question 13. But uh, you have to understand when you use a Dalton law, so it's uh, for the equilibrium, means for this equilibrium, you, you have to get the total mole and the most of each of these reactants and the products to get the mole fraction and use the pressure the pressure before the argon introduced so this is why again this is why the partial pressure of hi unaffected okay after the argon introduced that's why answer is d okay that's all thank you i hope you understand